What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. We have more Pure Michigan beer, literally guys, coming from Shorts Brewing Company. It's the Pure Michigan Spring Hazy IPA. Hazy IPA made with Michigan ingredients. So it's really cool what Shorts has been doing the last few years. They basically do these like collaboration Pure Michigan beers, really representing the mitten in all the right ways. Uh, Shorts is one of my favorite breweries in all of Michigan and all of the country, period. They make awesome stuff. They have a great reputation. They've been doing it a long time. Uh, so disclaimer, hey, I'm not biased because I've been drinking these beers a long time. I've been drinking shorts for many years. They did provide this to me in the mail. So guys, that's a shout out to shorts. They did give me a nice little goodie package, however you want to say it. So shout out to Shorts Brewing Company, Joe Short and all the team there. So this was packaged on 1-17-24. Today is February 9th, time of recording. Again, hazy spring IPA. I like it. So it's funny, it's actually ironic because it's been like 60 degrees almost in Northern Michigan the last couple of days, which is unbelievable, especially yesterday. It was almost 60 yesterday. Unheard of in February, guys. So let's go to the pop. Got the shorts, Tiku, proper glassware. Let's go to the pour. Is she gonna be hazy? I think so, look at that. She is indeed hazy, but it's not like, Crazy M43 haze. It's definitely up there though. What is the ABV? What is the ABV? We don't know the ABV. So guys, I don't feel like guessing today. I'm gonna look it up real quick. I know it's somewhere in my untapped here. Um, this says 4.3%, so that's actually really low. Um, 66 IBU is listed. Um, the way that this is hazed up, I would have thought it was gonna be like a six, seven, eight percent beer, but it is not. Um, maybe. Maybe that's just the name of the game with this one. I don't know. So you can see it. I'm not going to go into detail, guys. You can see how hazy she is at 4.3%. Really steady carbonation stream into the top. Let's go to an aroma. It smells funky. Like, it's very herbally, like, a little bit of, like, overripe mango. Like, way overripe apricots. A little bit of, like funky lemon there's this funk underneath it like it's just an herbally funk that i can't pinpoint um but i don't know like you know spring it's just it's all the good stuff coming back it's all like the mushrooms the the plants all the wildlife it's coming back it feels like that's how this should be for some reason i don't know why i'm correlating those things but it just feels right <laughs> I mean, it's not like overwhelmingly powerful on the nose, but again, it's 4.3%. It's probably dry hopped a little bit. I didn't read it, um, but it's not absurd. So I, I'm actually a little bit interested where this one's going to go, but I don't know. Let's dive in. Let's get that. Cheers, guys. It's pure Michigan spring hazy IPA. Cheers. Cheers shorts. What is that? Like spruce? Lavender? Or juniper or something? Almost... Almost tastes like a juniper uh, and, and pine resin on the back end. It is pretty dang hoppy and piney on the back end. Man, shorts. Why am I shocked? Super, super drinkable though. Um, man, the shorts, I, I should know better. They're going to hop their beers up, man. And that's what this is. Even at 4.3%, I'm shocked. Uh, it's crispy. It's clean. But it's hoppy like a big IPA on the back end. Super dry though. Uh, pine resin for days. It like feels like it wants to be borderline chewy, but it's so watery and, and crisp through the middle. Again, the ABV not very high, if you can feel it, uh, but it still kind of reminds you that it's a big IPA with that bitterness on the back end. The 66 IBUs, it feels heavier than that, um, but it drinks dry and crisp and drinkable and, and just soft. Uh, it's got a slight bit of acidity to it, maybe something tropical. Um, but again, a little bit of apricot. I get like some kind of like juniper or spruce like pininess. I don't know, it's it's not overpowering. Uh, but there's this just little like herbally funk and this little like spice note that I just, I'm not sure what it is, you know? And I could be wrong on that, I'm just guessing. Um, but it just feels like there's something else in there that I'm having a hard time pinpointing today. It wants to be sweet, but it just dries out your entire palate. Like this is just a crusher uh, with really good uh, hopped up suplex to your 
palette, guys. It's crazy. Um, I, I like this. Um, usually when I feel like I see a Michigan ingredients, it's like a malty, like, I don't know. I'm not always fond of like the Michigan hops sometimes. You know, I just sometimes don't like it. Like the Cascade sometimes rub me wrong, rubs me wrong. Um, but this just feels right. It feels like it's still citrusy and, and um, floral. It feels like it's still uh, tropical or stone fruit like. Um, but it's watered down. I mean, the 4.3% isn't isn't going to wear on your palate. It's light for a reason, and uh, it shows that with a big punch of bitterness. Again, that piney resin on the back end and this little herbally floral thing just kind of uh, slapping you around a little bit, but it's it's still just a crusher at the end of the day. So where do I put this? It's a little bit watery. I wish there's a little bit more grip to it from the front and middle. Um, but I really like the hot profile. I just feel like it's 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 uh, very big for being in this ABV range, and I feel like it's got more to it than it should. Uh, but leave it to shorts for hopping it up, baby. Um, it's not gonna like blow you away. It's good. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite hazy IPA I've ever had, especially at this low level. But it's a crusher pretty good. So I'm just going to put this at a 3.8 out of 5. It's not like the greatest thing on earth. It's certainly not bad in any any way. So I, I dig it. I would have another one. As a matter of fact, I will. So that's where I am today, guys. It's been freaking pure Michigan. Shout out to Shorts. Till next time, yamas, prost, cheers, whatever you want to say.